Now, I've never broken any parts on my bike, but I'm guessing having a bent spoke is a bit of a bummer. Hopefully, this beer isn't. Beer, 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 ba beer, ba beer, beer. Hello everybody, welcome back to me, Maple Ruski, for another Ruski Brewski review. And today the beer I have for you is by the McLean's Brewing Company. This is their Bent Spoke uh, Session IPA. Session Series Low Gear. Yep, Sessionable IPA. Coming in at a whopping 3.9% alcohol by volume. Um, and a unlisted IBUs. Can't find it there. Is it on their website? I'm going to check right now. And... Nope, can't see it on the website. What about Untapped? Will Untapped save us? No, they won't. We don't know the IBUs. It's an unknown IBU kind of beer kind of day. So we're gonna maybe uh, maybe take a guess. But looking at the beer, um, it's black with little uh, patterns around it and a uh, you know bent spoke bicycle wheel sort of thing. Kind of cool. Looks a little uh, creepy. It sort of looks like a spider or a many-legged bug kind of thing on the on the can with some green accenting. It actually looks pretty cool. Yeah, not too bad. Let's crack it open and see what we got. Oh, that's full right to the top. Thank God it didn't just go splash around. And we are drinking today out of my retro NW mug because why not? It's a nice, hearty pour. This beer is really, really cold on my hands. Ow, it's cold. Really cold. I don't know why. But cold beer is always a great damn thing. We're looking at the beer now. <clears throat> Quite clear. It's a touch of haze on there, but definitely a very, very pale, pale yellow color. Looks pretty nice. Let's have a smell. Nice grapefruit, nice pine aromas coming off here. Touch of lemon, a little florally. Not too bad. A little, little touch of like spicy notes as well, I want to say. Yeah, it smells crisp and refreshing. It smells like a great session IPA. Let's have a sip now. Actually, has some pretty good flavor. Um, nice little bit of grapefruits, slight pineiness. Definitely a big like lemon uh, characteristic. And then flowing into a nice breadiness. Uh, very like light breadiness in the finish. It finishes very, very clean. Um, it, <clears throat> it's crisp. It's nice and light and hoppy, um, but nothing too, uh, nothing too crazy. Which it should be. It is a uh, session IPA. They're usually uh, much easier to drink, but still with a nice flavor profile, like a hoppy flavor profile, just not on a big end, uh, like a pale ale, which is more moderate. And then versus your IPAs, your double IPAs, your imperial IPAs, which can get very big and bold and super bitter with the uh, amount of hops in them. But so far, this is pretty damn good. Cheers, everyone. It is very smooth, too. It does have a lot, a lot, a decent amount of carbonation, or at least that I feel. Um, but that just adds to the nice crispness of the beer. Also has a nice little... Um, Lingering bitterness, lingering, uh, you know, citrusy, uh, citrusy note as well, which actually, it, it's quite nice because it dries it out, dries your mouth out just a touch, but it's very clean, it's very crisp, it makes you want more, which is always a good thing in my books. Being that it is at 3.9% and it being a session IPA, well, what do you, what do you think you can do, guys? session them and that's awesome <clears throat> looking on the can now mclean's bent spoke sessionable ipa 3.9 percent alcohol by volume like i was saying this is part of their low gear session series on the back there is a bit of a description here and we're going to read that now bent spoke is light golden color with citrus aromas and flavors beginning with lemon and grapefruit and a touch of pine while, maintain while maintaining a hint of malty backbone I have to say, yeah, that's where you get that breadiness. <clears throat> Touch of malt in there, quite nice. The uh, description is short, it's sweet, but it's absolutely correct in what I'm tasting in this beer. That is really cool to see. 
no ingredients listed here, uh, no IBUs listed here either, and I thought there weren't any brewed on or best before dates because there's nothing on the bottom. But there is something here on the uh, on the label which is extremely, extremely hard to see. It says, I don't know what that is. I see like an O, a 1, and then an 18, but this definitely isn't from January. Um, or oh something 19 2018 i don't know it is here it's not easy to read it blends in with the uh with the background of the uh of the can but also it has sort of been wiped off or not um clearly printed that's why we always say and we always like to have them on the bottom of the can they usually uh, hold up a bit better there from what i've seen but still not too bad at all love to see uh when they do put on a brood on or best before date anyway Moving over to the website now, which is McLean's, oh, it's a weird website name. Um, it's like a number series, it's like 96.127.180.130 slash, a little squiggly, McLean's Ales slash. Weird website. Or you can just go to mcleansales.ca, but on, on my, uh, H, uh, my website address thing it's showing that one like I pre previously stated and it has a few notes on the bench spoke sessionable IPA doesn't list the IBUs though but 3.9% alcohol by volume like I said before it says McLean's ales threw tradition out the window and set forth on making a light citrusy hoppy session ale the second addition to their low gear series bench spoke is a light in gold color is light gold in color with citrus aromas and flavors beginning with a lemon and grapefruit and a touch of pine while maintaining a hint of multi backbone get bent so pretty pretty similar to what's on the can just a little a uh, couple more notes on what the series is very very nice nice little picture of the uh, of the can itself but no other information there no um no food pairings no types of uh, malts hops and yeast that were used no ibus like i've stated previously many times before um kind of kind of pretty simple pretty basic but still it looks really nice finally moving over to untap now bench spoke has been given a 3.27 bottle caps out of five and that's out of 1200 ratings Overall, it is damn tasty. It's really light on its feet, but it still packs some great flavor, even though it is a light beer. IBUs, I want to say on this, are probably anywhere from, I want to say, 35 to 45 IBUs. Um, it is it is a bit hoppy. For being a session IPA, it is a bit hoppy, but definitely uh, nothing that's going to knock your socks off. But with that said, i got to get a rate for my ratings, guys. Cheers in the final sip. Now that is a solid session IPA, really enjoyable, great flavor, um, very basic in flavor profile in my opinion, but still, they've hit it on the head, they've uh, they've really knocked out of the park with this one, it deserves a solid 7.5 out of 10, absolutely wonderful, definitely will be picking up some more for a, uh, for a night where I want to have a few more beers than just uh, two or three definitely great with that uh, session aspect I really love session IPAs they definitely have that um, place in in the beer in, in my beer inventory I'm in my beer lover loving portion of things and stuff um, where there's just there's it's just a fun time with session IPAs as for presentation it looks pretty cool um, definitely pretty black uh, in color I wish maybe the background was a bit lighter but that's just subjective to me description is there perfect uh, brood armor best before is there just hard to read but I still like that they put it on here um, and uh, the only the gripes that I have it with is the uh, there's no ingredients no IBUs on the website sort of the same thing no IBUs but a bit of a description and still a nice looking website overall presentation gets also a solid 7.5 out of 10 for me with all that said, guys, if you have any comments, questions, or beers on review in the future, you can leave all the information down in the comment box below. If you want to go ahead and like this video or subscribe to me, Maple Ruski, that'd be greatly appreciated as well. And that's going to do it for me, Maple Ruski. And like I always say, crack a beer and enjoy. Cheers. <laughs>